Welcome YouTube, this is Mr. Cool T-Rex, and I'm going to do a little video, actually, sorry, a long video. This is probably going to take a while. As you can see, it actually takes up lo my whole set and more. And there's more tanks and stuff over there. But, this is going to be a video on my World War II Axis German Army. And this consists of around 29 infantry, well, infantry, tank drivers, all of them combined, and... Five armored vehicles and two um, anti-tank guns, so that's a lot, and one anti-personnel gun. So, let's start off with the miscellaneous, just because this is the smallest. So, the camera's not going to focus today. But, so I have two Eastern Front troops and one Afrikor, and these are both Brick Arms figures and then the other one's custom by me. Nothing really to show there. They're just both pretty cool. Now, on to my, the basis of my army. The Wurtremont. So, this is just my army group mainly. Uh, it consists of all Brick Arms figures, a couple of non-Brick Arms figures, just this guy, the Hero Commander. I mean, he's not in this picture for some reason. There we go. But, two medics. Oh, as you can see, one of them fell right there. And they all go down like dominoes. But, so, they all have their own little guns and stuff like that. All equipped with brick arms. They all have their hats. I think you guys can all pretty much see that. But, so, there's some rare ones in here. Including these original brick arms here troopers. Or here infantry soldiers. not have back printing. It's pretty weird. Kinda. And I have two of those guys. One right here. And one with a backpack right here. Backpack was put on by me. Did not include. And then I have the Brick Fear 2011 exclusive figure. Here Trooper. And his hat's really loose. Uh, the Brick Arm Steelums were very loose back then, not the ones they make now, and here is the replacement troop soldier for the original brick arms here, if you guys know any of that, maybe you guys might have one of these guys, can't buy those, and then, wow, dominoes, <laughs> lol at that moment, I have all these little frits and stuff, got them all pretty much at brick fair last year, there's vendors that sell them. Well, I pretty much destroyed that army right there. But that's just the view. I also have a machine gunner kind of guy. Yeah. Now let's move on. This is my Panzer Division right here. Uh, this is... Let me check. 12 infantry soldiers right here. And... These are all brick arms and custom made by me. I mean, brick mania, sorry. They all have their little capes and such. And these guys pretty much focus on their guns. So he has anti-tank gun right there and a mortar. I think that's a pack 36. I can't remember. I can't recall right now. But So yeah. We got some snipers. Let's just get a good look at these guys. Yeah. My pack 88. Flak 88, whatever you want to call it. Okay. Now let's get on to their armor. These are all my armored vehicles right here. So that's my PZ3 and Panther, or PZ5 whatever you want to call it. Then my wisp, a wasp, I don't know how to say that. There's an infantry soldier in there, just kind of manning it. Then a motorcycle and sidecar. A cube wagon. And a inf armored personnel carrier. It's SDFK, I think. So yeah, it's my army right now. 
kind of a pretty video, but I just gives you the basis basis of the idea. Like, comment, and subscribe. Uh, comment if you want to see any particular part more detail. I'm probably going to do um, an in-depth video of all of my armored vehicles, no matter what like division there are and stuff like that. So I'll do a video on that. And be sure to stay in tune for my American Army video and my British Army vi video. And this is Mr. Cool T-Rex, out.